one. Uh, here we are. Welcome back What's to the Sorry Mum podcast, episode six, with our first guest, Archibald Thompson. How are you? Good, mate. Cheers for having us on. It's uh, been a long time coming. It has been a long time coming. Um, I'm, I'm actually quite embarrassed with myself that it hasn't come sooner. Um, well, but look, I was. I'm, I'm, I'm just stoked to be here now. Yeah, I've here. just been busy carrying uh, Jared's ass on Spillgate, you know. Um, <laughs> Spillgate? What? Splitgate, bro. Splitgate, you didn't even that's say the I... name of the game. <laughs> Yeah, I don't fucking need to know the game. I dominate it. But um, for reference, everybody, for reference, uh, Cooper's stats at the end of the game was three kills and thirteen deaths. Uh, I did my pretty part. good KD ratio. I did my, I did my part. He's a team player. Team. He doesn't play That's stats. It. That's yeah. it. That's um, it. Yeah. Uh, but today, um, actually, Jared, how are you, mate? I'm good, bro. I'm fucking chilling, man. Yeah, two hundred uh, subs. Doing some streams. Two hundred subs, yep. which is wow. fucking sick. Uh, I'm a gamer boy. What can I say? You know, people be. People be subscribing. No, but I appreciate it. I appreciate all the scrubs and, and all the support lately. So it's yeah. pretty sick. But um, you in lockdown still? No, I'm out. Uh, we got three Ooh. cases. You motherfuckers up in the Sydney area getting a thousand. What's Dude, that the thing, shit? Thing is, we well, aren't we even in the Sydney any. area. We're like fucking. We're just we're as bad as close to you. Sydney as you. Yeah. <laughs> see, see, you guys are in New South Wales, so fuck yous. All right. That's that's all I'm saying. I mean, game uh, one origin this year. Let's talk about that. <laughs> game two origin this year. Let's talk game, about that. game three origin. origin let's talk year. about origin game three. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, we weren't even trying. It's a dead rubber. Fifty <laughs> <laughs> in the house uh, bounce. Fifty in the house bounce. Yeah. Um. But today we're doing um. Of you've definitely seen the title. Um. And if you haven't seen the title, I don't blame you because not everyone can read, including me. Um. Fast food tier ranking list um so yeah we all um love our fast food we're not these fucking i mean we all like our fitness too but we actually don't care about our diet so we all eat fast food here um yeah, yeah we all love it um yeah. yeah so i guess i don't really know where to kind of start with this um what was your all first want- experience with fast food boys well i want to just quickly chuck something in here i know for a fact when they were when cooper was saying uh, all of us like fast food. All the audience was fucking staring at me. I could feel it through the screen. They were like, this guy likes it. This guy in the fucking corner here. <laughs> but anyway, my, my first moment of fast food. I have actually a great uh, experience. It, I remember the first ever time I got taken to McDonald's. Uh, my brother was riding a horse and I didn't latch up the saddle correctly. So basically the saddle flipped upside down uh, while he was riding the horse. And my brother got caught upside down, yes. stuck in the saddle. And the horse kicked him in the face. And basically, he went flying off the horse. He's bleeding, blah, 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 blah. Okay, he was wait. okay. I'm confused. Yes. You so went you to were... Macca's with a horse. No, no, no. So this is just this is just before I went to Macca's. Oh, okay. okay my okay. brother, I'm, we're doing some horse riding because okay. uh, my family used to ride a lot of horses and whatnot. I'm a pretty good horse rider, I'd like to add. Um, but basically, yeah, my whole family rides horses. Uh, and we were, I was, I was setting my brother's saddle up, things like that. I didn't strap it up correctly. The saddle slipped upside down under the horse. My brother gets kicked in the head because of it. The way my mum stopped him from crying was saying, let's go to Macca's. And I promise you, he's bawling his eyes out. As soon as mum said, let's go to Macca's, no tears, not a yeah. single tear. That's and boom, I was like, fuck yeah. He's get, he only, I got to see him get kicked in the head. Plus I get Macca's. It's yeah, a that's fucking a, great day. Where um, Archie and I live, um, there's a lot of fucking hippies that are against fast food and like to them, I just say, fuck off. Like, honestly, shut up. Like you're that lazy. You might as well go get fast food anyway. Like, Growing up, I was always the kid who was never allowed fast food. I'd get it like once a year until I probably was a teenager. So yeah, whenever I'd get it, it was like a big deal. I was yep. on the health train. Yep. Um, also this zoom meeting thing says 40 minutes. So I don't know if that means we can only record for 40 minutes. I'm not too sure. Um, or, we'll yeah. figure it out the hard way. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, I don't know. We'll try to go for under forty minutes. Um, yeah, I mean, I think my first experience was probably as a little. I mean, of course, it was as a little kid. Went and got Macca's. Like, I don't know. We lived a fair bit out of town, so probably got Macca's. I don't know. Once every few months, um, special occasions. Yeah, mm. I fucking loved it. I always went the Happy Meal, stock standard. Good shit. Didn't Good really shit. have KFC until I was quite old because my dad doesn't like chicken so it was kind of like okay we just all won't eat chicken um (laughs) but yeah no uh we'll get into listen why we like certain fucking places and that um yeah i'll start sharing screen if i remember how to do it correctly 
I'd like to add the. Did we take? Do we say what we're doing here? We're doing a tier ranking uh, of all the fast Whoops. food chains, or m- most of them. Um, and basically, yeah, we'll we'll go from there. <laughs> yep. Um, I'm, now these... I'm looking at this and already I've seen Diarrhea City. I like that. <laughs> so have have any of us had Snits before? Because the ones I'm assuming we haven't nah. had, I'm just putting in Diarrhea City. Never had Snits. This pizza kebabs, fuck off. Diarrhea City, mate. But kebabs are great. Kebabs like are probably the best out of all of those. I'd, oh, I mean, I'm not going to give any, way, any spoilers, but... Mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and I think we've all had the rest. I haven't had Zombrero, but maybe you guys have. That's- yeah. You haven't had Zombrero? Uh, no. What about Mad I Max? Had, I haven't had Mad Max, but I think I've had nearly everything else. Yeah. All right. I think we're good to start. Um, yep. Domino's Pizza. What are we thinking, boys? Take us away. I I have this very... Uh, it's one of the worst memories of, of my childhood. So I don't know if you boys ever remembered. Because I'm older than you, but I'm not super older than you. Um, but basically, there was this Domino's... Uh, Domino's used to have... Or maybe it was Pizza Hut. But I'm just going to go with the fact it was Domino's. Uh, but Domino's basically had these like big restaurants, right? And you could like go and dine in in these restaurants. It wasn't like a pick-up, walk-out type thing. It was like a restaurant situation. They had ice cream machines. It was, it was fucking a sick time. Um, and basically I remember I was living in Melbourne at the time. My dad, we were, we were at one of these Domino's all you can eat pizzas and things. And he goes to get ice cream and the cunt leaves the ice cream machine on. And I fuck you not. No cunt notices that there's fucking ice cream flitting all over the floor in the corner. And we flooded that bitch up with ice cream. Hey, let's go. <laughs> so we had to boot gang out of there Yeah, because we didn't want anybody judging us. Yeah. Uh, that's really the only real experience as a kid at least with dominoes but dominoes yeah. okay i suppose real quick I think with, yeah. with dominoes oh you go oh so oh i'll just quickly say this um shut off about with all these we're going to be kind of ranking them on consistency so mm. like how consistently good or bad they are um obviously taste that's the main one and um customer experience slash environment so if it's fucking greasy all the time may get deducted a few points but we'll see yeah well, we'll the thing for it. Domino's with me is, uh, you know, like say you go on a kebab, kebab joint or something, and you see the blokes are like some fresh off the boat, uh, fresh off the boat lever. You're like, <laughs> oh fuck yeah, this is like this is gonna be a fucking sick kind of a kebab. <laughs> but you go into Domino's, if if they're fucking like old Mario was in there going fucking, let me make you a pizza, you'd be thinking <laughs> this is gonna be good shit. But it's not. It's fucking Raj, fresh off the boat. He is fresh off the boat, but he's from fucking <laughs> Mumbai or some shit. So uh, that that kind of throws me off a little bit. Look, Domino's, um, yeah, Domino's. Also, is second, second, way, second thing with Domino's is, uh, <laughs> fuck, where me and Cooper live, the Domino's fucking got shut down for being so fucking filthy. <laughs> so that's it. Can you know <laughs> shit can taste good, but if it's shit, it's shit. Like it, I mean, literal shit. So yeah. that's a big problem for me. I still eat it because you can get a pizza of like five bucks. Good yeah. feed for you up. But yeah, I don't know. I'll, I sucks. will. Yeah, I will eat it. It's definitely not my first choice here. Um, yeah, I don't know. As for customer experience and that, I don't think I go to Domino's enough to really kind of say. Um, I fuck you all up a lot, I reckon. Yeah, that, yeah. I'm also off Another thing is, I, I, they're more Sorry, expensive than, than the Pizza Huts and stuff like that. Uh, Are Domino's they? as well. Yeah. More Ooh. expensive in the sense of like if you want to get deliveries and oh, things yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah. Pizza Hut's the better, better option. And I think I think Domino's, in my opinion, makes the better pizza per se. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. than like Pizza Hut or even Eagle Boys. Uh, actually, Eagle Boys is kind of good. Uh, but anyway, d- uh, makes better pizza in that sense, but uh it's a bit more expensive and, and the customer experience. I had a Domino's guy come up to my house and he like handed me the pizza and he's like, Hey, next time leave the front light on for me because I don't know where you live. <laughs> And I said, all right, trot on, brother. And I grabbed the pizza and I shut the fucking door in his face. So, like, <laughs> what a fucker. I was like, what are you doing? Fuck off, cunt. It's, a, it's <laughs> on the third house. Count the houses, cunt. Yeah. It says three. <laughs> um, for that experience alone, do we chuck it? Look, it'd be the first thing pretty good, but probably at the end of pretty good or only eat if I, I think I think pretty good because it is, it's good value for a, for a good feed most of the yep. time. It yeah. fills you up even if it's not the best. Yep. Yeah. Um, Eagle Boys, which is pretty much the exact same thing. The pizzas taste a little different. Um, Tari, where I used to live, um, only had an Eagle Boys at one stage. Um, it has all of them now, but only had an Eagle Boys. So I um, not necessarily grew up on it, but if I was ever getting pizza, it was Eagle Boys. I think in terms of taste, I think Eagle Boys is better than any other pizza joint, but maybe that's mm. my 
um, nostalgia talking slash bias. Now, I yeah, haven't I had Eagle Boys. Oops, sorry, Archie. Um, I haven't had Eagle Boys in a while. So is it more f- like a r- like fresh meat, like a proper yeah, fit? It almost, it sounds weird, but it almost kind of, this is not a good way to explain it, but it tastes more <laughs> soggy, if that makes, like, more dense. It, they, they, they fucking pack the pizzas with a lot more shit. You like the soggy meat, basically. Soggy bread in a trough? Wow. Um, but yeah, no, Eagle Boys is good, I reckon. Um, I don't know where you boys stand. We have to come up with like a general consensus, but yeah, for me, I, I had a, yeah. a similar experience to you where it was the only place in town. When I lived back in SA, it was the only, only pizza joint in town. Mm. So, but I remember it being pretty good. I haven't had it since I moved up here, which was like 10 years ago, but I remember it being solid. Are Eagle Boys done? Are they still Eagle say, Boys are they, even, are they even a thing still? I think in Lismore, at least, there's, is there one attached to the to the night out there on the main bit? No, I don't. Oh, I'm Googling it. Yeah, I think they might fucking have like little mini pizzas in there. That are, yeah, because I, I, think I think I remember them closing down. So maybe yeah. they got kind of brought back as the little side yeah. add-on or something. Well, I'll probably put them, if it's right with you boys, probably in pretty good, but definitely above Domino's. But yeah, I think if my, it's just above Domino's, that's fair. Because my the mouth itself ain't is wet for it. Better. Yeah, um, we're um, we're hitting the big boys now yeah? with the big boppers, the ones that lay the platform, the ones that set the yeah. standard. McDonald's, um, take us away, boys. Really quickly, boys. Really quickly, Eagle Boys is officially shut. It closed on the twenty seventh, first of May, twenty seventeen. Oh shit! Mm. Okay, well that explains so Eagle that. Eagle Boys are that's, gone apparently. That's why I haven't seen it in ages. But um, shout out to Eagle Boys. Feel free to come yeah, back. We love Eagle Boys. Yeah. Sponsor us. <laughs> but unfortunately for Eagle Boys, Maccas is fucking way better. Um, Maccas oh. has got to be in one of these top two tiers. Um, mm-hmm. Look, I could understand an argument for both of them. Um, but yeah, I'll, go, I'll let you guys take it away on um, your Maccas experiences, your favorite feeds from Maccas, et cetera, et cetera. I think Maccas is actually really overrated in my opinion. Oh, get him I, might be a, I might just be a hater, but I think... No, seriously, I might be a little bloke, but I got a fucking big appetite. I go into Macca's, drop big like... As well. but Fat they... cock. <laughs> the biggest cock we've seen. I got a big nose at least, so if it has anything to do with it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I go in there, drop, you know, like nearly 15 bucks on a meal, just about. And I go out and I'm still hungry. Yeah. Like, compared to the other places, I just don't get filled up. And I, I just don't think it's, it's enough food for that. your money. I can understand that. Um, I think the taste... Look, I, I don't really get too filled up from Macca's either, but I think the taste is one of the best. Um, there's going to be an argument here with the chips. I think Macca's makes the best chips. I've got them over KFC mm-hmm. chips but, and everything. Oh, yep. No. Since, yeah. if we're talking there's no chicken salt on them. Look, 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 look. If we're talking consistency, Macca's 100%. KFC will have the best chips on their day, but those motherfuckers... I swear they dip it in water before they put it in your box. I, I agree yes, with you yes. that KFC is inconsistent and the other places are inconsistent, but they don't put chicken salt on at Macca's. I can, I can. I'm too Aussie, man. I need chicken salt. Okay. So Macca's for me would probably go at the, looking at the others, probably at the end of God tier or the front of my mouth is wet. That's where I'll put it. See, I think, I think Macca's is the safest option out of the whole list. I think you're going to go to Macca's, you know what you're getting. You're going to That's get true. a pretty okay Thanks, burger. Jeff. You're going to get good chips and you're going to get good nuggets kind of thing. You're not going to go to Macca's if you want like a, a specific, t- like I'm, I'm craving a good burger. Or I'm yeah. craving a this. I'm going to Macca's because it's open and it's near me and it's relatively cheap in a way. Yeah. Um, I think that keeps it. I think I'm pretty happy to have it at God tier, but probably not up too far ahead. Yeah, God-tier. I'm pretty happy with God tier. I know Archie wants it in Diarrhea City, but I think it's, I think it's solid, but I just, I'll say that I never feel like Macca's. The other places I'll be like, oh yeah, I could go a Zinger box or a Whopper or something, but I never, ever feel like Macca's. All right, we'll yeah. go front of my mouth is wet for now and we'll reevaluate at the end. Nando's, you boys are going to have to take it away with this one because I've never actually eaten from Nando's. So. Have you had it before, um, Jared? Yeah, I've had it before, but you, you start us off, Archie. I think I've only had it once or twice. And I mm. remember it's really big in the UK, I think. So I'd heard about it. Uh, all over YouTube and stuff. So I went in there thinking it was going to be better than KFC chicken or something. And I was a bit disappointed. It was decent, but really nothing special, I reckon. The Nando's are very classic chicken. They're not like fried chicken kind of thing. Mm. Uh, and they're very like uh, spicy and, and um, that kind of thing. 
Uh, it's okay. I think it's a healthier, it's one of the healthier options on this list um, because it is like proper chicken. Um, the chips, I don't rate the chips all that often. Uh, I think they cover, you know, when, when you go to a, a place that you haven't been to and you get their chips and they're one of those places that fuck up the chips with so much salt, not like a good level mm. of salt, but just a ridiculous amount. Uh, that's kind of what they do. So I, I think it, Nando's is either I'd only eat if I was drunk or pretty good. Ah, uh, well, I think we'll it's go... only eat if it was drunk personally. Yep. Yeah. yeah we'll just yeah. make that section feel a bit less lonely. Um, pizza Hut. So that's the end of our pizzas after we talk about this one. Um, look, the three pizza chains, um, I mean, Eagle Boys aren't currently in business. Um, comeback season. Come on, Eagle Boys. They're pretty much all the same. Like, I don't know. I, I'd probably say pretty good because it's literally the exact same as the others. But mm. I, I don't know if you guys have a different opinion on that. I will say they do actually really good chicken wings. Like okay. Almost up there with KFC. Mm, they, they do, do all actually. Sorts, all sorts of sauces. They got like the wing street or something. I, mm. I haven't had it in ages, but yeah, the, I know their wings are actually really good. Yeah, a lot of different like temperatures and they have pasta and stuff too. Mm. I think they're probably the best out of the three in the sense of, of like what they have to offer. Um, I'd agree with you. Yeah, I think they're the best out of the three. I'm at pretty good in front of Eagle Boys and Domino's. Yeah, but all, all reasonably close, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. I don't think there's any massive standout, uh, at least in the pizza sense. Yep. Um, Guzman and Gomez. Um, do we have one in Lismore? No. I don't think so. I mean, I just gave no, one. We, got, we have well. a Zombrero instead. Yeah. Um, I've never had it, so I can't really comment. No, I've never had it either. I met, uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, who's that YouTube prankster, the Australian prankster? Shami. Shami. I met yeah. Shami uh, at Guzman. Uh, he was filling his car up. There's a Guzman next to a petrol station. And he was just filling his car up. And I was like, holy fuck, what the hell? I was like, hello. He's a pretty good bloke. But anyway, this isn't a, a Shami <laughs> thing. But um, Guzman, uh, it's it's that Mexican like uh, burrito thing like that kind of style, similar to Zambrero, like the nachos yep. and stuff like that. But it's a, it's a, it leans less away from being healthy. They have chips. Mm-hmm. They have, you know, other things. It's a bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? It's got a bit more options and less healthy yeah. uh, than, than Sembrero's. But if my partner was here, she'd be f- fucking putting that shit in God tier straight away. Yeah. I'd put yeah, it in. My missus is actually the same. She goes, she goes mental for it. She keeps telling me I need to try it, but I'm just not that big on Mexican food, to be honest. Mm, it's, it's i think it's got to be in a mood for mexican food yep um, definitely yeah but um, honestly like mexican makes my ass run so i don't know if that helps <laughs> yeah also i probably should have i mean i should have said this at the start as well maybe i did say it at the start but price will also consider that too um yeah definitely i don't know not how, super cheap yeah i wouldn't have, i feel like most mexican places are pretty expensive and that's because you're getting better quality shit but um, cheese is expensive. You blokes ever buy a block of cheese? Oh, hey, yeah, I'm fucking shitload. Yeah. Oh, I'm talking like nearly ten bucks for a block of cheese. Yeah, fucking some days when they're not on sale. Yeah, and that shocks me because it's like I used to take cheese for granted living with my mum. Yeah, I'd be mm. like fucking eat cheese all the time. Fucking chuck cheese on bread, shit. That yeah. shit's expensive as fuck when you live it by is. yourself. Yeah. Um, fucking it's taking out a house deposit for cheese, bro. <laughs> Where do, where do we want to chuck this? Math is wet. God tier, pretty good. Up to Jack, nah. really. uh, I, don't, I don't need it if I was drunk. Um, I'm, oh, maybe actually end of pretty good. End of pretty good. Okay, I feel bad putting it at that. So I think this, I have a feeling Guzman is really popular. So that might be one. Get a bit yeah, of fuck over. Yeah, exactly. So, that's why I was like, end Jared. of pretty good. Yep. Um, <laughs> don't unsubscribe, please. Uh, Hungry Jacks. Um, I mean, if anyone was qualified Former to talk about it. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, oh boy. Uh, look, I uh, dipped my hand in a bit of Hungry Jack's work. Um, <laughs> Give us the inside scoop, bro. Oh, uh, look. Um, filth. Actually, no, I don't want to get sued by Hungry Jack's because they're definitely going to watch this video. Um, mm. I got 200 subs now, bro. Working conditions. Sick. Look, you could improve. Take that, take that with a grain of salt. Maybe I didn't even work there. Who knows? Um, look, it, it, it's okay. I personally don't. I think their chips are really good. I would honestly even put their chips yeah. over KFC, honestly. I would. Uh, yeah. But, um, so much seasoning, always. They never um, skimp on seasoning. Their burgers, their beef burgers, the only reason I do like them, but I don't really like the flame grilled taste, like the smoky taste, but I can still eat mm. them. Um, but I'm not going to shit on them for that because I feel like in terms of quality, 
I'll Macca's, Hungry Jack's. Oh, actually, no. KFC is probably better quality. Out of Macca's and Hungry Jack's, you're probably getting a better quality burger at Hungry Jack's, but I just don't yep. think it really tastes as I don't good. think so. Uh, Hungry Jack's is probably my most controversial opinion of all of them. I think it's... I switch between that and KFC of being my favorite. Oh, I think I think Hungry okay. Jack's is so good. What's your go-to yeah. Hungry Jack's? Just a Whopper or... I love a Whopper cheese. But okay. mate, they do they do the vouchers and all the deals and promos and shit. So you yeah. go in there and you get an absolutely mean feed for your money. And you, yeah. you, you come out and you can barely walk because you've had so much. Which all I the love. all the employees fucking I don't know if you um were there um with the promo, you know, if you went to Hungry Jack's when yeah, you Yeah, know, I did that. Mm-hmm. Cunt, the fucking employees hated it because cunts would just win that often and it would just mean more work for us. <laughs> yeah. But, um, See, yeah. My thing with Hungry Jack's is I think it's better quality. Other than the nuggets, I think it, I think Hungry Jack's beats Macca's at almost everything in the sense of quality. Yeah. But I think Macca's for me, no matter what, Macca's and a Hungry Jack's in where I live are right next to each other. And every yeah. single time I go get a fast food place, I drive past Hungry Jack's. Unless yeah. I'm going, I want something different. I'm going to go to Hungry Jack's. Um, yeah. But in the sense of every time I've eaten food from Hungry Jack's, I've, I've actually really enjoyed it. So yeah, I think my mouth is wet, but... I will say this, and uh, this might actually be Cooper's fault a little bit. I think the staff at Macca's is way better. <laughs> and I've, I've, I've heard that that's just... I've heard that Hungry Jack's is the worst employer. Not by Cooper, just uh, <laughs> by a few other people that they're the worst of the big three. It wouldn't um, surprise me. I think Macca's has easily the best service. That's probably something we didn't mention. Yeah. I find they, they never mess up your order. It's always quick. It's usually yeah. always pretty fresh. Very quick. Yeah. I Very find Hungry, Jack, Hungry Jack's, I think it's peak is better than anything. Yeah. But it can be very inconsistent with yep. how fresh it is. You need to go in when it's busy, I feel. Yeah. Mm. Uh, end, end of mouth is wet. Is that fair? Yeah, I put I it above all... Macca's, but it's up to you, boys. Really, I'm happy I for it to go see. above Macca's in the sense of all, all its bonuses because it is cheaper. Uh, I like the the frozen, like the ice creams, the storms. I think they're called. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, they're yeah, good. Yeah. So I'd I'd probably put them in there above yep. Macca's. Well, I would personally have it below Macca's, but if it's two v one here, so we put it above Macca's. Also, also, Cooper Cooper did say all this bad shit about Hungry Jacks. Please sue him directly. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, if you guys will yeah my name's cooper longmere come come find me <laughs> um, okay uh grilled haven't had it but i'm assuming it's a chicken it. place i've had it it's just a it's just a chicken place uh they do a donation thing so whenever you buy something from grilled they have a little you get a little bottle cap you get to pick which charity you donate to uh, mm. and i think at the end of the night or at the end of the week or possibly even at the end no it would be the end of the week um basically the the, the place with the most bottle caps in it they donate like whatever to charity. Um, so they do that, which is pretty cool. Uh, pretty dog how they donate, you know, only to one charity. They could just do a, bottle, a one bottle cap means $1 kind of thing. But anyway, yeah. uh, do your own thing, girl. Do your own thing. Um, but yeah, I, it's okay food. It's it's very fresh and it's very... Um, it's a bit more healthy kind of. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly it. it I think it's, I think it's, it's quite food. trendy. I think it's quite popular with the you know, Instagram kind of yeah. crowd all that. Yeah. Another place. If my missus speak of the fucking devil, the missus just came through the door. Thoughts on grilled? Ooh, um, She's coming. Hi. The birds love it, I reckon. A... Yeah, you don't get to see yourself oh. today. Um, I really like grills. I don't have them very often. I feel like they're kind of expensive, but yeah, pretty good. Have good sweet potato chips. See, it's um, all like real shit, like healthy it's, shit. It's it's Macca's, but like better. No, that's a that's a fuck. <laughs> Get out of here. That's a bad tie. <laughs> um, and also let me just let me just prove something here, guys. Uh, Guzman, where would you rate Guzman? <gasps> Guzman is is god tier for sure. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we we'll chuck it back in pretty good. Ah, this sh- meeting has upgraded by the host. Well, oh, nice. oh, and cleanse. Oh, cool. Oh, cheers, Zoom. Shout out to Great Zoom. job, Cooper. Great job, Cooper. <laughs> All right, still recording. We'll put- yes, wait. Yeah, we'll put grilled in pretty. Uh, no, nah, I'd put only eat if I was drunk. Yeah. Above Nando's? Grilled Above that. Nando's, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, a Porto. Haven't had it. This personal favorite of mine. I've only had it a few times when I'm back in Adelaide, but fuck, I actually love it. They do really good chicken burgers and really good chips. So See, they're another place, just like real chicken. Like, you, you know what? You know yeah. what I mean when I say real chicken? Like, you can just. 
You can tell. Like when you bite it, you can like see its actual breast and it tears apart. Yeah. It's not it's yeah. not like a patty or something. It's yeah. actually yeah. good. You pay for it. It's pricey. It might be like 15 bucks a combo, but it is actually yeah. really good in my opinion. Um, yep. I only ever see these at like random gas stations. It's like, you know, when you get off the highway for like a random gas station that has like yep. fast uh, on the, food. On the side. There's not many of them. Yeah. yeah. It's just they're randomly there. That's I've never seen an actual restaurant of that. Yep. Yeah, I've only seen it in food courts and stuff in big, yeah. big places like that. Yeah, uh, I don't really have much of an opinion on it. It's, 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 it's good, but as Archie said, you pay for what you, you get. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit similar to Nando's. I think they both, both are kind of Portuguese chicken places, but it is yeah. a lot better. Pretty good, you reckon? I'd have it above the pizza places, to be honest. Yeah, that's fair. Um. Sorry, I just vomited in my mouth a bit. Saying bit what we came up oh, let me let me <laughs> smell it, bro. Honestly, <laughs> red. Actually, wait one sec. I've got a, I've got such a good take on Red Rooster. Surely not. And it is. It's just Red Rooster is is fast food, but it's basic. It's just frozen food. Like it tastes. You know when you go to like you get frozen crumb chicken from the freezer section at Coles. That is what Red Rooster is. It is exactly the same. Well, um, I've added a new section, and yeah, I don't care what anyone rank. says; it's going in fucking rank. The chips Let are me... really, the chips are really good, but everything Thank you, else Arthur, sucks. Yes. Yeah, I, don't Thank you. Think... I was just about to say. Let me say the chips are good. Uh, every time I have resolution chips, they're good. But that's it. I but think you're saying that their their gravy tastes like chemicals. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like you, was... it tastes like you're drinking fucking petrol or antifreeze <laughs> or some shit. I was gonna say that I fucking had this. Um, oh, I was. Going on a little mini road trip to Newcastle, and um, I got like the chips, the and then it has chicken on the top, and then gravy over it. I don't know, it's like yeah. the loaded fries or whatever. Yeah. Fucking disgusting. I could see the the occasional chip without the fucking gravy or chicken on it. Pretty good. Rest, mm. no chicken and sucked. I, yeah. Absolute ass, and the gravy was dead sec fucking made in a lab. And, and gravy is a big chemicals. part for a chicken place. Like KFC, the, the gravy at KFC is massive. Yeah, it's so good. I dip my chips in there. I dip my chicken. The burger, if there's enough left, yeah. So for it to have shit gravy, that's a big deal for me. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Another thing with me for a chicken place, you got to have good fucking chicken. Yeah, and they it's fucking they chicken. let themselves down in that sense. So yeah, I just uh, and then there's all these memes like Red Rooster doesn't actually have like fucking they, they dead set don't. Nobody comes in there, bro. People like how is this place still open? I think I've seen like the maximum amount of people I've seen in the Lismore one has been like three. And that was a, like Silly Solly's um, shop that opened up right next to Red Rooster. My Rooster's favorite up. place. That's, I my, saw that's it. my stomping ground. <laughs> that's where we do our best work. Um, <laughs> I saw, It was like opening day for Silly Solly's. There was like a million cunts there and there were th- three cunts in Red Rooster. So I'm assuming they just got a bit hungry and went to Red Rooster. <laughs> that's when I saw it at its fucking peak. I would love to work at Red Rooster because you do nothing. Yeah, you just got your ass all day. <laughs> I've got a bit of a, a fucking conspiracy theory here for you boys. I don't know if you yeah. guys know where like these like tax fraud places that the, a lot of them are like mattress companies. There's heaps of mattress companies, but they just fucking bought it up. Yeah. Basically, it's just like for like mafias to like fucking say that their yeah. money comes through these like mattress firms. That's what I think Red Rooster is, bro. No one goes there. It's just a fucking <laughs> mafia run fucking. Well, drug yeah, thing. there's the big the big joke about the drug uh, the drug front, isn't there? Everyone yeah, that's it, bro. Everyone that's in their it. dog knows that one. It makes sense. Like, how the fuck is Red yeah, Rooster still in business, but Eagle Boy's not? Because I'm assuming Eagle Boy's shut down from money issues. Lack of, yeah, lack you'd, of you'd people. Have to say. Yeah. And Red Rooster's still going? Uh, look. If you're one of the it type of cunts to go to Red Rooster, you lose my respect, honestly. Like, if out of all these, if look, if Red Rooster is the only thing in your town, cool, I can understand. But if all these Eat other grass. options are in your town, and you go to Red Rooster, concerning signs, very concerning and plus signs. You, you get those weird cunts who go in and just get a roast chicken. Like you can just get <laughs> like that their at Coles. Uh, yeah, they, you they can just go get it at the... Coles for probably yeah. half as much, and it's actually decent at Coles. Yeah, yeah, odd, very odd, but fucking rank, I think, is um. A fair rating. Fair. Subway, straight off the bat, I'd probably put it in God tier, I reckon. Yeah. Oh, fuck, really? I am a fucking big Subway man. I, I like Subway. I think it's good, but fuck, it's not that good. I, can I think it's better than Hungry Jacks and Maccas, I think. Oh. And it, it's consistent in the fact that I know exactly, like, it, they're not really changing up. I can fucking, I have my set order. It is um, consistent. And they can't really fuck it up too much because you stand right at them. They yeah. can't so the fuck thing- off too much. 
The other thing that annoys me is the Subway. I don't know if you guys get meatball subs, but you get so much fucking sauce with the su- like the meatballs. Yeah. And it just fucking drips out and annoys the fuck out of me. That's I'll the only f- thing that like I hate. I'd say it fills you up like out of oh, maybe yeah. KFC, but out of I reckon Subway probably fills you up the most. And you pay mm. twelve dollars for a foot long. Um also. The twelve if you spend twelve dollars on Maccas, like you're not fucking filled up at all. So I'd yeah, probably put it in God tier. But I think that's more of a criticism of Macca's, though, than it yeah. is a, a, a bonus of Subway. To it, need, it needs to be a majority consensus. Um, so I'm happy for it to go into God tier, but if you guys think it should be below, we can figure it out from there. I think there's some good... Like, their cookies are the best cookies you'll ever have. Oh, in my, oh my goodness. Soft, <laughs> soft, soft cookies are the best thing ever. Yeah. They're so buttery and sweet. They're, they're the best. Yep. Um, um, also, that Chipotle sauce, I think it is. It's like the yep. orange one or something. Fuck, that's good. Yeah. Um, so we think a mouth is well. I think it's above Hungry Jacks. It's actually ha- like I will not accept the fact that it's lower than Hungry Jacks for me personally. I wouldn't, but if you if you boys want it, yeah, I'm happy for it to be there. I'm happy for it to be there. I'll, the only sorry, Cooper. Sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, no, you go. The only thing I'll say about Subway is I've seen a lot of useless cunts who work at Subway. I don't know if that's just at my Subway. But there's just slow cunts, or there's cunts who don't know how to rap, or there just seems to be a lot of disabled dudes at Subway. Um, and it's like, how fucking hard is it, bro? You cut bread, you put meat in bread, you fucking hot fold it up. That's it. I don't honestly know. think out of all of these places, Subway would. Oh, well, actually, no, that's a lie. Probably Macca's. A lot of pressure a to a lot of pressure at Subway because people are watching you. Yeah, it. yeah. So it makes it a bit more daunting. Yeah. Personally, I'd have it. A- Below a porto, but above the pizza joints, but Ooh. I'm happy where it is. Okay. Oh, it's, yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be. It's got to be in either my mouth as well or, or God tier. I'm sorry, um, I hate to do it to you. Zombrero. Oh, that's good. Um, again, I mean, it. we we do have a zombrero in Lismore, um, but I just never eat from it. So yeah, I think that's Jared. About it. Uh, it's a healthy one. It's it's similar to Guzman, but less good. Nicole is is giving me the nope. It's shit. Big red cross. Why big Guzman? It's a, it's 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 the exact same as Guzman. It doesn't have chips. It has little like nacho like oh like okay. fry things. Yeah. Um. It, yeah. It's 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 not very good in my opinion. I'd probably put it at. I'd only eat if I was drunk because it's healthy. It's like you're gonna get lettuce, you're gonna get using tomato, you're gonna get your fucking guacamole and shit. Yeah. But it's it's not all that great in my opinion. Yep. Um. Now we're left with the last one. I left this for last on purpose. Yeah. Lucky um, last. Look, I'm just gonna state that's for last. Well, I'm not going to beat around. I'm not going to beat around the bush. It's in God tier, okay? Just yeah. chuck it there. However, yeah, it is. very, very, in not inconsistent. Okay, I'll just name a few things. The working conditions or like the the dining conditions are fucking disgusting. <laughs> I yeah. sl- I like nearly slip over every time I walk in there. I have to fucking <laughs> go in there with non-slip shoes because like there's just so much grease and shit on the floor. They just don't clean the place. Very, if you go through the drive through, they take like 20 years for the most simple shit. You could be getting yeah. a frozen Pepsi and they take ages. The chips, inconsistent, very soggy at times. But like, I throw that all out the window. I think the taste when you get a good, nothing better. I think the chips are a tiny bit overrated, but they still are really mm. good. Yep. Um, but yeah, KFC is the best, isn't it? Yeah. It, it, no, you can't beat a Zinger box. Like, <laughs> oh, no wow. matter what, I'll fucking smash a Zinger box. It's that yep. good. The only thing with KFC for me, and this might be just be a personal thing, I like lettuce. I eat lettuce, but fuck, they love chucking fucking handfuls of lettuce on <laughs> they shit. They do. They do. I like find they they're not as bad as Macca's with the with the lettuce amount. See, I don't have anything with lettuce in Macca's. I just have my cheese. Yeah, I usually try to avoid it. Have you boys jumped on the new um, deal at KFC? This is also isn't a sponsored video, but um, the naked zinger um, box thing. So I it was good, but I haven't tried for, it. Yeah, for three ninety five, you get like a fucking massive zinger fillet, and then like a thing of chips, and um, it's very good priced. And I'll get it every second day or so. No wonder yeah. I'm fucking getting up there in weight. So, um, yeah, I think it's got to be god tier. See, so there's one, one little... thing. Oh, oh, there you go. go, Archie. No, you go. I insist. No, no, I insist. You go. All right. With one other little criticism I have, besides it being filthy and them taking a while. Um, they do get your order wrong quite a lot. Yeah. But um, so there's a few things, but that's how good the food is. The food yep. can outweigh everything. I wish they did like a dessert. You know, they don't do soft yep. serves yeah. or, or anything or cookies. They, you need a dessert. 
Yeah. Because a Zinger box is such a good meal. Imagine yep. poli- polishing it off with, I don't know, a little McFlurry or something like that. Oh, yeah. Also, so good. I don't know if it's just the Lismore one, but do you guys like nearly pass out when you walk into KFC just because of like I, f- I swear it's always hot. Do the cunts not have aircon or something? Like I don't know. The it's KFC the, always the going fries, most likely. Yeah. Um. But yeah, they take a ugh, look. There's a lot of things to con KFC for. If we're talking about like the cunts they get working there, um. Look, you're probably oh, not the, the best. Oh, <laughs> I got another one. The fucking dickheads who work there are so dirty. Oh. Like they do not wash their uniforms. They're like they're covered in shit and dirt stains and stuff. I don't think they wash themselves. <laughs> yeah. Right. Or their yeah. Eshe bras who just fucking shank you afterwards getting your zinger box bras. Yeah. Um, but the go- um the KFC in Lismore is right next to the Dan Murphy, so it works well. You go get your fucking beers for the night and yeah. just knock up on some KFC, which it is and good. I think that's why Red Rooster so shit, because we compare it to KFC, but it could mm. honestly yeah. you that's fucking you compare the two. Um yeah, Red Rooster's like on Centrelink and fucking KFC's <laughs> like Wolf some successful Wolf, yeah. fucking yeah, Wolf of Wolf. Can't even get my words out. But um, I think that that list was pretty accurate to me. I don't really disagree with a lot. I would, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, I think it's pretty safe. The only thing I'd have different, honestly, would be Macca's over Hungry Jacks. But like, yeah. I'm not going to really complain about it because like, I think that's fair anyway. But like, mm. pretty much the same thing. So. Mm. See, I, I will make one more statement about KFC. I don't know. I gather you boys would know. But for people who don't know, go onto the KFC app. On the app, slide up all mm. the way on the screen. You get the secret menu, bro. Yep. Oh, the secret menu fucks my dick sometimes. <laughs> like the fucking, uh, what was it? Um, Do you get the, the snack pack thing? Yes, the snack pack thing yeah. was so good, bro. Was Holy good. shit. And then like the triple stacker zinger. Oh, yeah. it's so fucking good. Yeah. Man. I'll also say for, it is, well, it's not that expensive. It is kind of, it's more expensive than your Maccas or your Hunger Jacks, but you're yeah. getting way better quality shit it's, it's, and it yeah. actually fills you up. Yeah, it's way better quality food. And you get um, way more. Instead of yeah. chi- just chips and a drink, you know, you get the chicken and the gravy. You get yeah. buns and shit, popcorn, chicken, all sorts. Not sure about um, Pepsi being the... I Look, I can drink a Pepsi with KFC. Um, but look, KFC, if you want to import Coke into your fucking factories, feel free. Oh, that's because, another good thing. Yeah. How they do the cans and bottles instead of the, that is, that uh, is instead of the mix. Because when you go to Hungry Jack's or Macca's, they put way too much soda water nowhere yep. near enough syrup so yep. they can't fuck around with the mix so i think that's a big plus yeah well yeah. i think this um list is pretty accurate i'm gonna look at some of the community ranks we usually do this just to see where everyone else there are no tier oh, none. no mm. well none i'm gonna go to another one shit. uh go to common fast foods community rank okay no cunts actually care what cunt? Uh, no one likes fucking fast food. god's work here apparently yeah well um that's odd. We're back on normal size here. Um, I think that was a successful, successful episode. Um, I'm liking the fucking three person thing. I, we've got some good chemistry, I'll say. Um, NRL TPO, you know the rules. Uh, back in the day. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with everything. Um, fuck, what do we? I so realized K- we didn't even say who Archie is. Like we just said, "Hey, it's Archie," and then uh, <laughs> every time mentioned me a few few times on the po- uh, podcast. Yeah, yeah, true. We did, we do. We do. I tell you, it's funny watching it and hearing your name come up. It's yeah, it's actually really awesome. Yeah, I'll except, sometimes... except for when you fucking call me a bully, that was pretty nasty. Uh, look, you can't admit <laughs> that it's not true. I was. I don't think we were bullies. I think we we're. We were fucking dickheads. Like, we thought we were king shit, but I don't think we were bullies. <laughs> God, uh, we fucking... <laughs> mate, you remember... Oh, fuck. Who was the cunt that we... No, we didn't put on... Story they, time. They, yeah, story time here. We're, let's just go down fucking story time here. Let's do I, it. I think some cunt volunteered. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was Bob <laughs> to, to, to super grab her against the wall. I think it was... Um, <laughs> Jared wouldn't know what super grabber is. We kind of have to explain what super grabber uh, is. I got no idea what super grabber it. is. It's pretty much so you know you know what a grabber is in rugby league. Um, yeah, yeah. It's pretty much that, but shot out of a cannon. Um, the best way to explain. Leg. My Cooper, look, Cooper launches it at you like a fucking rocket. I, I have it, a. It, it whips you. I have a fucking boot. That let's just say that I have a fucking boot. We well, did. Uh, oh yeah, I did. Um, he would have went pro. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, look, I, that is probably a fair. Um, saying we probably weren't bullies but we did think we were top shit 
Oh, we were fucking idiots. We in handball, we were, especially. Handball we thought bad. we were so great. Jared handball. was the complete opposite. Jared was in the drama club and just hung out with the was library he? kids. Nah, I don't yeah. actually yeah, know. Bro. I'm just, we actually in the drama no. club. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. He's no, going to he's gonna get off this podcast. You, you could cry. see it, you know, doing <laughs> your stand-up and stuff like that. It wouldn't make sense for that, I guess. Yeah. No, I mean, they just, yeah, just hung out with, like, the rugby league boys, stuff like that. Yeah, you're too cool for that shit. I'm did, you guys, fucking did you guys swag. see the new um, fucking rule that they might be implementing? That whenever the ball goes out into touch, seven tackle set? Seven tackle set, yeah. That's stupid. Stupid as fuck. Ugh. Pretty much eliminates yes. the, the need for a good kicking game at all. So, mm. Yeah. I'll... Takes away from the half being able to control the game. Oh, so if, just... you, if you put it, if your team puts it out with it yeah. bouncing... Oh, well, oh, that it will, is shocking. So yeah, like because they want to keep the ball because obviously teams do it to oh, slow the no. game down to get get a breath to kind of reset their line or whatever. They just want the fucking ball in play at all times. I'm like, cunt. There's been like 12 ACL injuries this year because of fatigue. Motherfuckers are just yeah. gonna go down left, right, and center if you just keep let, the game getting faster. Let me tell you, you've triggered me here. Set me off. This is exactly what the AFL have been doing every every year. People are like, oh, I wonder what the rule changes are gonna be. You shouldn't wonder that in sport. You yeah. it should you should try to change the rules as little as possible. And every year it gets further from the game that people yeah. actually love. And they did the exact same thing where they want to speed it up to appeal to, you know, a, a bigger audience, like a more foreign audience, I think, yeah. to keep it more in line with kind of soccer. And all it has done is made the game so scrappy. Yeah. Like you can't rush it behind the, the deliberate out of bounds. It just ruins the game and makes it scrappy. Yeah. Well, teams, really? adapt, uh, teams adapt to it way quicker than others as well. That's why um, I don't know necessarily to the AFL because I don't really watch it. But in the NRL, there's such a fucking gap in between the best team. I think this is the biggest gap we've ever had from Melbourne Storm, who are obviously in first place, to whoever's in eighth place, which I'm pretty sure is the Sharks at the moment because the Titans lost last night. That bottom eight's that- pretty weak, isn't it? It's very weak. I think, yeah. I want to add, look at the bottom eight teams, like the Bulldogs and the and the other teams like that. These bottom eight teams were teams not that long ago before these fucking rule changes are speeding the play up. They yeah. were the teams that were pretty fucking solid or winning premierships, things like that. Bulldogs yeah. fucking won a premiership not that long ago. Yeah. So it's like these teams are just the teams that are struggling to adapt to these consistent rule changes. So that's the issue. It's like, it's not the fact of, oh, there's, you know, some clubs are better than others. You're changing the game so much. It's basically playing a brand new fucking game. Yeah. And these other clubs have either got contracts of big, big bopper props who are now fucking useless in the current NRL. And it's just struggling mm. to adapt because all their money are put in elsewhere to yeah. make do with what like that year's fucking rules were. It just yeah. it fucks it. This uh. is me off. They're literally driving us away from the game we all know. And um, we can't actually do anything about it. So it kind of gives me the shits. But. It's like a guy like David Clem or Aaron Woods is now close to unusable, where he, they were origin yeah. players not that fucking long ago. It's Clemmer's, just it's fucking yeah. ridiculous. Clemmer, I still think Clemmer should play play rep. Yeah, Clemmer, I think oh fuck, I think he's coming off the bench for Newcastle now. And what if I don't mm. understand that? I mean Honestly, probably, I think I think he probably still is the best front row in the game, to be honest. It Ooh. depends on what you're after. I, I think, think. If you, I, I love someone like Payne Haas, but he yeah, I'd has probably moments where Haas. his defense is fucking piss weak. Yeah, I'd say Clemmer two years ago. Especially on his line. Yeah, Clemmer, I wouldn't say he's the best front row anymore. It depends yeah. what you're after. If you're after some just angry cunt to come off the bench and just provide a fuckload of punch, yeah. But um, yeah, I think the game's kind of gotten away from him a little bit. Yeah, the whole speeding up. But mm. yeah, I mean... Um, but this isn't an NRL TPO episode, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to fucking NRL TPO. Shout out to um the Blue and Gold podcast. Shout out to what, everything else we fucking did. But um we did and gave up on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um yeah, let's hear, you. boys. Just yeah. let's hear. Yeah. Um. Thanks for listening, everyone. We'll get Archie on more often. I like this fucking three person combo. I fucking love being on. I'm um, any time. Yeah. Well, we need a fucking episode where we get just the crew back and just fucking get blasted just fucking blind fucking drunk yeah but, that sounds pretty good i mean i'm not doing anything else in lockdown and yeah so. no i'm so Bro. bored all yeah. i want to say is i can't wait for the fucking because my fan base i don't know if you've read any of the comments and stuff like they fucking get around cooper's dick bro yeah. like they're like A part of the oh, family okay. and, and shit right. and my i got uh, no I, that sounds like i'm not happy about it like i don't like my fan base i really do it's cool <laughs> so it's gonna be interesting to see like how they react and how they like let's lift up archie and let's make him yeah. feel great because so, that's the, what they fucking strive to do bro. one of the comments oh, I, don't, I don't know if they'll like me I, I, no, I, they i'm will. a very uh very kind of 
I think I'm a bit of a love, love me or hate me kind of person. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people don't like me. He is Leave your comments about understand. Archie. He's alone. also a bully. But just... I'm not a bully. I was, <laughs> but I apologize to everyone. Okay. What was the... Co- oh, fuck. We, we didn't even do comment of the week. Let's quickly do that. Um, I actually do have a comment that nearly made me cry. Um, the I comment don't... of the week better not be, who's this Archie dickhead or something. If, it, if that's <laughs> it next week, I will fucking cry. So think about that <laughs> when you're behind your screens. Um, now guys, that but... I'm, I'm going to get on my other account and, and <laughs> it's going to be like Jay Tonic Collectibles and I'm like, I don't know who that was. <laughs> um, Andrew Kemp said, I mean, I'm only just saying this comment for the week because it was directed at me and it was super fucking lovely. Um, Andrew Kemp said, message for Cooper, mate. I'm not a massive gym fan, but because we're talking about if I made YouTube videos. Yeah, I saw um, Oh, yeah, I've seen this Yeah, comment. I'm not a massive gym fan, but um, you're a part of this J Tonic family. Anything you do, whatever videos you make, this family will support you. And I was like, wow, that was very nice. That well, actually makes me feel I'm, yeah. I'm making gym videos and I'm actually going to be better than Cooper. So actually leave that <laughs> same exact, leave that same comment, but for me. And then also comment of the week again. I, I want to fucking do one of those trans, trans um, ishin videos where they kind of like, they flex their triceps and then like fucking three months later, their fucking tricep comes back. <laughs> their tricep comes back and they're fucking massive. So um, yeah, I think that's where we'll um, leave it. Thanks for listening. We'll get Archie on fucking every couple of weeks or so. Um, Swear. This was a good video. Thank you zoom for not fucking stopping our recording 20 minutes ago. The best one I've used so far. Much yeah. better than messenger. Yeah. Oh, hundred mm-hmm. percent. Zoom's a go. Not so much delay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Sweet. Thank you for listening and listening and um, see you later. God, I'm going to get bullied for that. I'm going to get bullied for fucking up all my words. To the J-Tonic right. family. Mate, they no, love you. I love, they the love you. Family. Uh, it says. Oh, let's turn my bottle. <laughs>